but let me see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see. Hey everyone, there's the Goes, and I'm back with yet another Food Chain Island video because, as you might recall, we have played through the base game and also through the first expansion, which is Friendly Waters, which offered replacements for the sea animals. And today we will be playing through Tough Skies. And that one is a pretty interesting expansion because it really does expand the game and not just give us more options. So um, let me first set up the game and then I will show you what that expansion does. So that was the setup of the game. And now we have our flying animals here in from the expansion Tough Skies. So what happens here is we have three flying animals. They all have specific abilities and these uh, make the game harder. And what we will do is we will shuffle. Usually we will shuffle those and then we will draw one of these animals and um, put them right here. And then we also, just like the sea animals, we um, can use the ability of the flying animal. But actually, it's a little bit different because we have to use one of the, uh, one, uh, the ability of the flying animal. And because if we haven't used it until the end of the game, then we lose the game additionally. So that is pretty tough. Um, and there are three. Let's, let's go over all three here. The owl. Shuffle a stack of three or more animals. Randomly draw one and place it back in the same space, discard the rest. That one is very interesting. Um, then we have the buzzard. The next three predators must have odd numbers. Oh, that is pretty tough. And then we have the eagle. Use only if there are nine or fewer animals on the map. Take three adjacent animals in one row or column. Shuffle them and randomly leave them back to the original spaces. So the thing is, um, the owl one is the most interesting, I think. Um, but my most favorite bird is the eagle. Um, and right after that, probably the owl, I suppose. But my most favorite animal is the eagle, so we will take the eagle. Okay, um, that is going to be pretty tough. But um, that is pretty much all that changes with the new expan with the expansion Tough Sky. So let's get a lay of the land as usual and see how we can get started. So the high numbers, we have them like all in one row almost here. So we can probably do something with that, right? Try to somehow get these grouped together and these and then combine them. I think that would be somehow possible. Then we have a few lowers here, also quite a few low here in that row. That could also be pretty helpful. So let's see. Um, discard any. Uh, okay, then this here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Interesting. Okay, so we have this here. Um, if we have nine or fewer animals, right now we have 16. But if we have like a little bit more than half, then um, we can use that eagle ability. Then we have move one animal to any other space, which is really good. And move an animal one space to eat an adjacent animal of any lower value. That is also really helpful. Um, so let's see what we can do. So I just suggest starting up here because we do have quite a few things we can do. So I think I will use the mouse to eat the, um, to eat the plant here. And then we need to move one animal, one to two spaces. So let's move the spider over there. And then we have them grouped together again. Um, and then let me see that it might make sense to let the lizard eat the mouse. And then we need to discard any one unstacked animal. I think we will have an issue with the one because um, we are going to eat everything here. And then the lizard will, well, the, the rat will probably be up there and we can't eat the ant anymore. So um, let's discard the ant. And then we continue here. Um, the lizard can eat the spider. And then we can discard another animal again. And now it's going to be a little bit tough because I think we will have a little issue with these. But well, then again, no, well, not, not, not necessarily. That could be possible, but I think the lion might be an issue. And what about the snake? Well, the snake could also be a little issue, right? Probably, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, but we have something here like predator must move diagonally to eat. Well, hmm. So the fox might be, well, we can do the fox here. 
Ah, that is a problem. But we do have the shark. Move an animal one space to eat an adjacent animal of any low value. And then maybe the seven is okay again. Maybe the nine is more the issue. I think so, yeah. Maybe. So you know what? Let's, yeah, let's discard the fox here. So and now, usually we would go here, right? But um, let's see what we can do down here with these animals here. Um... So the rat cannot eat anything, which is a shame because we could just move it to any other space. The raccoon here. Next turn, if the predator eats prey, valid exactly one less, discard one unstuck animal. That is not bad. That's something we could use now to our advantage, right? Um, maybe we could have the raccoon eat the bat. And then um, let's eat something just one less which would be the rat here which would be good so let's do hmm but let me see mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah i think that could be possible then let's do that up here and then we don't really need to move any animal to space but we have to so let's move that one over here because then we might be with the snake here and with the raccoon so let's see that might be an idea and we ate um, just one less here, right? So this is the way we can discard any one unstacked animal. And now let me see how we can do that here. Well, this is not too easy, but I almost think that the polar bear would be an issue again, right? I think so. You know what? Before I will do that. So we have two, four, six, eight. We have nine animals now. That means now we can use the eagle and the eagle says that we take three adjacent animals in a row or column. We could now take these three here, right? Because they don't need to be unstacked. So we can just take these three and then shuffle them and put them back. That might be an idea or, yeah, well, I think these three might be an idea because it doesn't really matter in which order they are in later on. The 14 over here would be better. The eight over there would be better, right? Um, so we could work with that. So I think I will use the eagle now. And then we will have to shuffle these. Let me unstack this one. And then shuffle these three. And we need to put them back in the same space. Just shuffled. It's three, right? Um, three adjacent animals, right. So let me just shuffle these somehow. And then deal them back. 14, that is good. Oh, I think that's the best best outcome we could have had i think because now we can eat um, the snake with the raccoon here and then um if we eat uh, a, um, an animal with one less then yeah i think there are a few things we can do all right so um let's do this here um let uh that the raccoon eats the snake and then next turn, if the predator eats prey, value exactly one less, we can discard any one unstacked animal. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here. Um, the wolf can eat the lynx. And now the um, after the wolf eats, move it one space. And then I will move it back up like this. Okay. Um, okay, and now, because we um, this was one less, right? That's why we can discard one animal. So um, the line would go here. This one would go. Um, ah, but it, exactly one less. That is not possible. Um, well, we could maybe unstack this one here. And this one would also be great to get rid of. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of this one here, of the gator. I will show you in a minute why. I think that might be a good idea. Okay, so, and then um, we need to continue. The only real good thing we can do is this move over here, right? So um, the tiger will eat the wolf, and then next turn the predator must move two spaces to eat. That is fine. Um, so let me... Um, do it like this maybe one and two next turn the predator must eat prey value exactly one less that is possible because ah well is that possible because i could do that but then i can't use the polar bear again after that 
no, I don't think that is possible. We need to do it somehow a little bit differently. Um, I think what I need to do is get the polar bear over here like this. Now the polar bear cannot eat the next turn. That is okay because now um, I will move one animal to any other space, which is here. And then we can eat that, eat the rat with the raccoon. Um, next turn, if the predator eats prey value exactly one less, discard any one unstacked animal. That will not be possible, probably. But we can use the shark now to move an animal one space to eat an adjacent animal of any lower value. And now we can eat with the polar bear again because we skipped a turn and we can move it over here. And that is then it. Um, we are not able... These are just two spaces apart, right? Otherwise, we could have the perfect game. But just like um, in the second game, in the first game, we actually got the best result. But just like in our last game, we have two animals left, which makes us an accidental matchmaker. Um, in the first game, we were an ecosystem expert, but and that's still pretty good, having just two, um, two stacks left. And we were able to use our eagle here, which means that we did not um, fulfill that lose condition, so to speak. So we actually have used that, so that is good. And we also used both sea animals this time. And we won the game with only two stacks left, which is not too bad. That is pretty good. We probably could have optimized something with um, all the cards we discarded. Probably we could have discarded something else, uh, like not discard something else, discard this instead. And there probably would have been a possibility to somehow win the game um, with only one stack left. But I think we did a pretty good job here. I hope I didn't make any mistakes. If I if I did, then I will just um, have noted it down here in the video um, when editing as usual. And that was my playthrough of Food Chain Island. And this time with the Tough Skies expansion. There are still two expansions missing here um, that I haven't recorded yet. So I will do so quite soon as well so that I can show those to you. And now, perfect time because the church bus is starting to ring. So I will cut this video here. If you're still watching, thank you very much for doing so. I really, really appreciate every one of you watching my videos. If this is the first of my videos you're watching, why don't you head over to my channel? I'd love to see you there. And there's a lot of videos there that you might enjoy. And apart from that, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the very next video. Take care, everyone, and cheers.